oh hi i didn't see you there welcome to anything goes where i don't even know what's going to be happening so uh stay tuned for that and uh as in we let me welcome you guys my muse morella scalise hey hey how's it going okay sorry i am late i was dealing with a Hey guys, how's it going? What did I miss? Nothing, just uh, thinking about the meaning of life. And uh, what did you conclude? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing, guys. That's great. That is great. You have plenty of shows to figure it out. And on that note, welcome everybody to Julia's and my debut show, Anything Goes with Morella and Julia. We are so excited to be here. And um, obviously, we have to uh, say a few thank yous before we can even continue on with this uh, conversation this evening. Uh, we want to thank all of our family, all of our mm -hmm. friends, our entire social media network for, you know, all your love and all of your support. We couldn't do it without you. And for my breakfast club of LinkedIn, I am wearing the shirt tonight in honor of all of you guys. We want to thank Frequency 5 FM. And uh, we want to thank uh, my other baby girl, Felicia, at home. You better be watching. And we want to do a special shout out to Karen Carrington. I hope you are watching the show tonight. Um, I don't know if um, any of you know or some of you know, but uh, Karen brought me onto her show uh, a couple of times over the last few weeks. And uh, I met Karen through my dear friend Kim Niles, and I hope Kim is watching tonight. And this really does speak to the power of networking and the power of human connection, which is what really um, our platform is uh, is all about. And uh, Karen was kind enough to uh, to bring me on, and as a result, uh, you know, um, everything happens for a reason, and here we are tonight. So Karen, love you, thank and thank you. you so much. And if you guys don't catch the Karen Carrington show, she is right here every Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Check Standard Check her out, Time. guys. Check her and out. As a matter of fact, I just have to say, here's her book right here, Fresh Starts. And if you don't have a copy, you need to get a copy. I literally read it in like a day and a half. And, you know, I think that a lot of us go through fresh starts uh, in our journey and in our lives. And this is a fresh start for us, too. Yeah. Um, and so we welcome you into our homes, into our lives, and into our Thursday evening space. And we're really, really excited to be here. So um, on that note, let's talk about why we're here. Julia, what do you think? I am here to spread the joys of comedy, um, yes. to also embarrass myself for your enjoyment. <laughs> Um, because why not? That that's con that's creative content. That is creative content. That's creative content. No and I'm also oh, sorry. No, I was gonna say no one can <laughs> can copy you ever. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. She'll be doing voices too. <laughs> Don't get scared. Yeah, for those who uh, for those who know me very well, I do my voices, and Colleen will be making an appearance. You, you guys know who that is. And Robin Williams <laughs> would be very very proud. Um, that's awesome, and I want to tell you guys too. Um, one of the things that um, I'm really, really passionate about, and, and Julia as well, but for me in terms of my journey, um, there was a time when I um, just lost my voice and my ability to find the strength to, to deal with some of the tsunamis that I was dealing with in my life, specifically over the last 10 years or so. And when you get beaten down and you feel very uh, weathered down, you just don't have the strength to even not only say anything, but even feel like maybe um, there there aren't anybody there isn't anybody out there that wants to hear what you have to say, and so as a result, I really um, kind of disappeared from the things that were, you know, very important to me in terms of uh, you know work and, and other things. Of course, I, yeah. I still stay yeah. very close to my family. But but what, what, where I'm going with this is that. I had a comeback in the last couple of years, and comebacks are awesome. And so we want this platform to be all about uh, being open and being transparent and having a safe place um, to really talk about anything that is important to us and important to all of you. And want to share a voice in the hopes that we inspire and motivate, and at the same time, it will be um, healing and therapy for us too. Yes, therapeutic. So, thanks so much, guys. Let's laugh, let's cry, let's joke, let's learn let's support one another and um, here we here we are so I don't know what you want to talk about but let's chat about <laughs> a Valentine's lot of things day. a lot let's, of let's things let's talk about Valentine's Day 
Let's talk about, do you think Valentine's Day is overrated? Um, I think, I actually do think it's, okay, for, everybody may have a different opinion about this, but yes, I do think it's overrated, um, to the point where a lot of people, oh god, how do I even say this? I can't speak for all of you guys, but this is just based on my point of view, but where a lot of people overthink Valentine's Day, it's like you can't even go out with a friend, like, without being like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. You know what that means? I think we should just schedule it for the next day because it means whatever that means. I, I'm I'm confused about the topic, but for me, all uh, all I need for Valentine's Day is uh, my couch, numero uno, right. numero duo, um, smart food, uh, white cheddar, um, maybe saying. a spritz. Yes, yeah. white cheddar, a spritz yeah. of some sorts, yeah. and uh, my mom. Aww, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Guys. Thanks, sweetie. Thanks, sweetie. Um, I, we can't tell right now. I am looking over at my co-host to see if anyone is um, uh, commenting. If you guys are watching, like I said, please <laughs> let us know you're online. Send in your comments. Send in your thoughts. We'll engage as we can, and we absolutely promise to respond to all of you at the end of the show if we don't get to you during the show. Um, as far as Valentine's Day goes, I bring it up only because it's been a real um, hot topic uh, amongst my friends over the course of the last number of years and all I really want to say about Valentine's Day is um, I don't think we need a special day to love one another exactly. I think that um, we should show you know love and respect to each other you know all all year long and um, before we kind of move on I, I absolutely I was kind of debating but I really want to mention this um, Julia and I both are heartfelt uh, condolences and sympathies to 11 year old Raya who passed away on Valentine's Day and uh, obviously uh, condolences to her family. The one thing I, I want to say is anybody that, and again, this is my opinion, um, anyone that called in to complain about the Amber Alert inconveniencing them, um, it could have been your loved one. And I think we need a little bit more empathy and a little bit more compassion in the world. And that's all I want to say about that. Okay, so moving on. Um, I want to <laughs> talk about, we're going to do a shout out. And um, as I mentioned, we all have a lot of people in our network and a lot of people that we meet. And one of the things that I talk a lot about is, um, for example, my, my relationship with social media. So I am a little old school, but I think that I have the benefit of kind of pre-technology and now technology. And the, I, I talk and I vocalize a lot about sort of the pros and cons of social media, and we will be addressing this in future episodes. Can't but wait. one thing I do <laughs> want to say is social media has the power of bringing people together. And I have met so many people on LinkedIn. And I talk about LinkedIn because it was my platform that I decided to engage in about um, 18 months ago, I would say. And mm -hmm. the people in my network on LinkedIn, and you guys know who you are, I love you to the moon and back. You guys, whether you know it or not, have been part of my therapy in terms of uh, branching out to share my voice again, to find the strength to come back and share my voice. And you guys are always supporting my content, uh, regardless of what I talk about. And I talk about a lot of different things. So tonight, I want to do a shout out to John Quinn and uh, John Quinn is awesome. John Quinn yes. is amazing. John, I hope you're watching. Um, John is from the UK and John and I connected on LinkedIn because we're both advocates for mental health and mental health is also something that we're going to be talking about and we're going yes, to be um, you know, sure. uh, broaching over the course of, of time. Like I said, we've got a lot of topics and a lot of themes that we're going to be covering. And uh, John and I connected um, just as far as being uh, passionate about mental health as well as mentally healthy workplaces. And uh, John, uh, John's company, Eternal Balance, is, um, um, is uh, situated in the UK and he's really, really passionate about what he's trying to do. And I want to give him a shout out for this. And yep. I have to tell you that it's so important. Like, 
I talk a lot, we talk a lot about positive energy versus negative energy. We talk a lot about um, mental health and the context of what's good and what's not good. And I have just finished wrapping up a series called Toxicity in the Workplace on yeah. my social media. It is so important, you know. Uh, life is too short. We need, we spend so much time at work that we want to be happy and we want to feel challenged and we want to feel fulfilled. We don't want to have to feel like we are in a pressure cooker of negativity. Oh, so for sure. So Eternal oh. Balance is something, um, a company that I can't wait to get involved with here in Canada. And I have to tell you, and John, I hope that I do right by this um, description. What I love about the company is that not only is it all about counseling and training um, for people, you know, that obviously need it, but there is a, a safe space for, for, you know, education and yeah. really working with corporations to help employees feel like they're valued and they're appreciated and they don't have to worry going into, you know, uh, the job every single day um, that uh, they have to deal with anxiety and that they have to deal with stress. <coughs> and so he's got so much planned. I'm really, really excited. So John wanted to give you a shout out on that thank you so much i i could talk about toxicity <laughs> in the workplace for hours um but i'm going to ask julia um what are your thoughts about this because i know you've had some experiences um about it as well oh wait until i tell you the stories guys but before i do uh john quinn Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're Hugs. welcome, John. You're welcome. Um, and also, you're getting a lot of love in the comments. Ramsey, John Quinn, you the real MVP. <laughs> awesome. For sure. Hi, Everybody saying congratulations. Love the energy. Oh, and Craig. Yes, Julia. Yes. Hi, Craig. Hi, Landon. Hi, everybody. <laughs> but uh, moving on to a toxic workplace. Okay, so... The one thing, me, I do deal with mental illness. I have a lot of anxiety. I've um, been dealing with dep like depression for about three years. Like, it's been, you know, very, very hard. So it's not something I usually talk about, but it's going to change. We're going to be there for one another. Stop. <laughs> I tend to do that. I don't know if she appreciates it or not, but nonetheless. <laughs> but um, anyway, so yeah, so when I was uh, working at like said company, I was actually uh, really afraid of going in into the building because I'm like, these people are staring at me like, why do I feel this way? Like, why do this, this and that? And the fact that um, that such behavior um, is condoned in a work environment, like I'm not saying all places are like this, but a lot of them are. Um, I don't know if you if you guys want to share your experiences as well. Comment down below. But um, it was something that kind of dealt that was dealt with poorly, and I would be like, okay, well, I can't do this. I can't do that. And they say to communicate, so I communicated um, and and said, listen, I'm feeling very uncomfortable. I'm feeling anxious. I there, there's just a lot of stress here. Like I'm I'm feeling um, that there's a lot asked. Um, where it shouldn't be asked, if that makes sense, guys. Like, if that makes sense, like, you know. Um, and I'm just like, I can't do that because I, I'm feeling this way. But when people don't understand what you're going through, mm -hmm. it's like, well, now what? Like, am, am I, like, okay, like, am I in this alone? So, like, feeling like I can't do a lot at a place where I usually love. Like, I love do my work. I like my place. Mm -hmm. But then having other people kind of come in and be like, I'm taking that away from you or I'm just going to, I'm just going to, the competition, the competition. It's just kind of like, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> like, does that make sense? Absolutely. Like, I can't even talk about it because it's just so like, I'm getting anxious about it. And not you know lie, but If I can, sorry, sweetie, if I can interrupt. This I just hand, <laughs> this damn. I this love hand. you. I love you. I love um, you too, but the arm. Up. I just want to say <laughs> that um, as Julia's mom, um, I, I saw this uh, continuing um, as an ongoing thing. And having experienced it myself in my previous career space, um, you almost feel helpless to do anything about it because what I really wanted to do was go to that workplace and sit these people down and say, let me, let me. Um, 
teach you and educate you on the proper way <laughs> to treat your employees. <laughs> And instead, what I did was I really did make uh, Julia the priority in the context of understanding what she was going through. And the first thing I said to her was, if you are dealing, feeling like this or dealing uh, with this, you need to leave. And Julia, you know, she was like, but you know, <coughs> it's a job and, 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 and I want to work. Yes, but there's lots of jobs and the lots of places to work. And so I don't think it was worth it. And uh, ultimately, I think you made the right choice. And I would like to add um, a thing, like a uh, thing about that, about yeah. that topic. Yeah. When I was in a, another thing that's very, um, like a, a toxic workplace is working with someone you're very close to. So like working mm -hmm. with... I mean, not a family member, but sometimes, it depend, everyone's experiences are different. Love you. Love you. Oh, the arm, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, but, like, working with, like, a friend or um, a boyfriend or girlfriend or some sorts. Um, so that was actually something I went through, and it was very hard. Like, when you're being uh, discredited for your ability in, like, your field, and you're being taken advantage of, and people are just taking your work. I don't stand for that, guys. Amen. Hashtag the movement. Amen. Hashtag Amen. credit me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, like, it was something where I'm like, okay, but I can't leave. Like, this person's close to me. This person, uh, and I start overthinking about it. Um, I'm a big overthinker, so <laughs> like, okay. But it's like, I can't, I can't leave. I can't do this. But you know what? At one point, I was like, that's it. You know what? I am pretty good at what I do. I'm great. I'm fantastic, okay? And I have my mom to thank for that. So she's my fan, okay? Absolutely. And I 100%. just stood up one day. I stood up to that person, and I was like, you know what? Don't take me on as a fool. I know what you're doing. I'm sick of this. Don't push me down. You're a bully. And, you know, <laughs> I don't condone that behavior. So I left. I did my own thing. I had my friends, family backing me up. I even had strangers at the local bus stop telling me that I was pretty good. So you know what? And you that know counts what? for something. And you know what, sweetie? Thank you. I just I want to thank um, Julia for being so open and transparent about this because it's not as John Quinn and others who deal with mental health and and trying to break the <laughs> stigma of the subject matter. It is not always easy to talk about. Um, I. Yeah. don't condone um, I think we're here to support one another we're here to show love we're here to embrace we're here to rise each other up and to elevate and that's always how I've been <coughs> with my teams um, even as as a, as a manager of teams I've I don't oh. know how to be any other Tell way about it what I don't condone is when people are um, taking ideas that are that are that are yours and claiming them for themselves and giving credit where or sorry not giving credit where credit is due so if you guys have experienced it without mentioning any proper names we you know like I said join in the conversation these are topics that we're going to be covering not just tonight they're going to be happening a lot throughout the um, the course of future shows so it really yeah. does tie into what John and others are doing um, you know whether you're in the UK or here in Toronto it doesn't matter uh, we are going to uh, talk about it and we're gonna be open about it and we're gonna support each other you are not alone okay we have some love in the comments oh and I would like to share my yes. story yes with everybody I'm just joking. No, but we do have some love in the store, in the comments. So, all right, let's see what you guys are saying. You two are adorable. Love struck emoji. Thank you, Landon. <laughs> Hi, Landon. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, another thing from Landon. When you discover your true worth, you will stop giving people discounts. Oh. Yes, love that. <laughs> love that. Thank you. And to add on to it, he also said when, the on when, when they only make withdrawals, and no deposits. Absolutely. Tell me about it. Very it's true. time to close the account. Yes, yes. James, let it out, Julia. Oh. <laughs> Hi, James. How are you? You have no idea. Karen, Joseph. Hi, ladies. Hi, Karen. How are you? How are you Another doing? Another one of my LinkedIn friends. Your mom, Morales Calise, is a superwoman. Yeah, her cape. She forgot her cape at home, guys. So. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Ann. Glad you noticed. How are you? Abby, preach. Hi, Abby. Just, just preach. Love you, Abby. You're great. Morella Scalise, you're doing amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And Thank hello. You. Oh, my God. I'm going to call you Brito. That sounds cool. <laughs> Brito. Hello. But uh, moving forward. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Keep the comments coming. Thank you so much. So um, I got to say, I love this color on you. 
Uh, no thanks. I, I gotta, I gotta, okay, what is no thanks? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. the mic. Okay, there we go. What does no thanks <laughs> represent for you? I'm curious. Oh, <clears throat> so there is a big, there is an explanation with this, okay? <laughs> oh, and you, I'm no about to get real sure. with this, and it's just, guys, here we go, okay? And, okay, so for example, no thanks, okay? You at a club, okay? <laughs> this gentleman comes up to you and he's like, hey, honey, I see you look so good tonight. I got hotel, I got key. I got key. You want to go? You want to go to hotel? And oh, I'm yeah. like, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks, guys. Like, I'm sorry. Who are you? Like, <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Bye. Or, for example, another example. It's like, oh, my God. I'm just going to open my Tupperware with my food in it. It's humid today, and we're on public transportation. Who wouldn't <laughs> want to smell this? No thanks. I do I don't want to smell it, guys. I, like, am I the only one who doesn't like smelling food on public transportation? Like, is that just me? Like, God, call, please tell me your no thanks moments. Like, moments that you've had. I want to hear your okay. no thanks like, moments. I know <laughs> you guys have no thanks I need moments. to know. Like, and I will, obviously, I'm going to repeat them in my, and <laughs> how I think they're being said. So I'm just going to. And it's just like things in general, like, oh, yeah, it's three in the morning and I'm on the highway. Not one person on the road, but there's one guy tailgating me two <laughs> centimeters away from my back bumper. No thanks. There are six lanes on this highway. You got to be behind me. Like, oh, my God. Uh, Guys, I can't. No, thank, thank you. Next, are you are you sure <laughs> you're being really shy about this? Open it up, like people want to hear. I know, guys. I'm say. I'm being I'm being <laughs> low key it's shy. So true, though. No, it's absolutely <laughs> so true. I love the shirt, and I want. <laughs> let's hear what you guys have. Mufaz, oh my Hi, god, Mufaz. my good friend from six years. Next morning, whiskey breath. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Next morning, whiskey breath. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Hi, Alessia. How are you? More of that. Thank you, next girl. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> next. Some great comments. Some my great mom comments. says, "Wake up! It's time for school." No thanks, <laughs> Ramsey. Go to. <laughs> no thanks. Wake up. Says. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm like having a brain. Like, what's going on? Okay. Oh. My mom says, "Wake up! It's time for school." No, no thanks. thanks. No thanks. <laughs> oh my James god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is oh my god, this is my thing. Would you like to add guac? Guac. It's extra guac. No thanks. No, no. No thanks. No. Like if I wanted guac, I would have just, you know, <laughs> like no, I don't pay four fifty for that. I'm already paying fifteen dollars for the burrito on itself in itself. <laughs> like I'm good. Hi, good night. Good night, Stacy. Good night, Stacy. Okay, so you know thank what? You I, I think we need to do a no <laughs> thanks segment. Uh, in future episodes what do you yes think? send me them right oh my god send me them <laughs> i'm just gonna i'm gonna blow it up so guys i again um <laughs> julie uh, julius was keeping an eye on the comments we want to make sure we don't miss everything but if we do we will absolutely respond to you after the show is over thank you so much for being so engaged really appreciate it so much it's 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 really wonderful thank you um i want to do another uh, shout out moment yes and uh, it, it's it's really interesting like if you think about it like we we have similar experiences on a lot of things and Julia and I spend a lot of time um, doing a lot of different things and with our family of course and I think that we can both agree that we have developed some fantastic mm -hmm. friendships and some you know fantastic relationships with people that we've met online and again I mentioned online because Back in my day, uh, without you know technology and without social media, we would go out and we would meet people, and uh, we were forced to be social face to face and 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 strike up a conversation. And nowadays, with social media, you don't even have to. Um, you you can just type away and you can just get to know people by waving and just having conversations online but for me what's really really special is when you can take those online connections you know obviously uh depending on geography and where people live taking that um online connection on uh, offline right and having a coffee yeah. and going out and so i go to <clears throat> a lot of events i go to a lot of um um, different 
um, you know, industry events, networking events, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to call them. And so many fantastic people doing so many great things, so many great causes. And one thing that I have found is that everybody is trying to do their part to make a difference in this world. And I think that in our own way, we are also doing the exact same thing. We are trying to um, uh -huh. infuse some motivation and some inspiration. And you got to remember, I mean, we, you know, hopefully as, as our shows continue and you guys, you know, get to know us, you'll also get to know a lot of what we're referencing in terms of, and you know, some of the, our topics will be light, some will be deeper, some will be funny, some will be, you I know, just, you. yeah, just all over the place. But the point is, is that, um, I, there was a time when I just um, really stopped engaging because remember how I said that um, I lost my voice. I felt that I was in a, a place in my life where I just didn't. Um, thank you. The arm, though, baby. Right. You going to catch on one but day. I appreciate it. <laughs> unlike you, but I appreciate it. But having said that is comebacks are awesome. They're scary. They are scary as heck. But they're awesome because they rejuvenate and they recalibrate. And so, again, um, I, for about two years now, I have taken the opportunity to meet as many people in person as possible. I've had a lot of coffee. I've had a lot of conversation. And I would not have it any other way. So, on that note, I have to do a shout out to Lukey. And I hope I pronounced the last name right. Danu Carianto. Oh. I think that's Hello. right. Hello. Yes. Lukey is awesome. Lukey and I met on LinkedIn as well, as I've met so many wonderful people on LinkedIn yeah, as great. well. And and a lot of those connections have translated onto Facebook. So, hey, I also want to give a shout out to all our Facebook friends. Much love, you guys. Um, Lukey and I met through a mutual friend, Shelly, and I believe Shelly's in Atlanta tonight. Shelly, shout love out you. to you. Love yes. you. And uh, Lukey and I had coffee together last summer. And um, why I wanted to give him a special shout out tonight is because we um, have a lot of um, care and a lot of love for a lot of the different things that are going on in the world and locally here in the city. And we are, I guess, if you think about it in our own way, we're up and comers too. Even though I've had um, a career that has spanned decades and, and Julia is just getting into her entrepreneurial spirit, you know? And, a and um, <laughs> when I met Lukey, what I liked about um, his vibe is that he was involved in a lot of different streams with his career and with his life. But what I liked about it is they were all connected for the greater good. And um, Lukey has a book. And it's called Stuff I Wish I Knew Earlier. Oh, yes. So if anybody knows my age, you know that there is stuff I wish I knew <laughs> earlier. Okay? We won't even talk about my I don't Tinder even know experiences. Her age. Okay? Enough said. But I don't anyway, know her age. <laughs> Lukey wrote this book. I'm going to get to that in a second. Lukey is also um, an advocate for mentorship. And uh, he is also developing an app called Career Buddy. So um, I just want to give a couple of seconds to his causes. As a mentor... He wants to make uh, Toronto the mentorship capital of the world, which I think is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I've heard him quote that he wants to be the new billionaire. And in billion, with, with billionaire, the context of that word, he's saying that he wants to impact a billion people which I think is unbelievable. It's, oh my God. And Luke yes. and I have sat on panels together and we have gone to events together. And one thing, thank you, Lukey, I have to say, um, anytime he's asked to recommend uh, speakers or people that can sit on panels, uh, he always mentions me and I'm really, really grateful. So thank you very much for that. And he wouldn't have been able to do that if he and I did not foster a trusting, you know, working partnership and, and friendship. So um, I wanted to mention that the second thing is career buddy. Um, mm -hmm. If anyone knows, I'm also an advocate for the unemployed and for people that are looking for work. Um, believe it or not, people that are unemployed, that are struggling, that are financially distressed, um, that are having difficulty in this very difficult job market, mental yep. health, we go back to mental health, and unemployment and financial um, distress, they're all related. And so um, I'm an advocate to try to help wherever I can, and I know a lot of people are as well. And so Lukey is developing this app called Career Buddy. And Which if I get amazing. it right, it's actually yeah. really, really simple. Um, it, it really helps you with the job process. It helps you with career direction, career navigation, and self-care. So, Lukey, I think you're releasing the first uh, 
um, the first side of this in April. I could be wrong, but congratulations to you. Congratulations. We looking, we're looking forward to the release. That was wonderful. Thank you. And then Thank the third thanks. thing, finally, the book, <laughs> Stuff I Wish I Knew Earlier. Um, what I really liked about, I, I haven't finished reading it, but what I really liked about what I've read so far is that Luki talks about all the things that can help you in terms of your career, in terms yeah. of your life, in terms of things. And he, you know, just points out a lot of obvious things that maybe we take for granted. So for me, there's a lot of stuff I wish I knew earlier. And we've heard the saying, I wish I knew then what I know now. Right? We've all heard that. So I, I guess I'll ask you, what is something you wish you knew earlier and why? All right, guys, it's time to come clean. Um, something I wish I knew earlier um, is how much of a waste of time Tinder is. <laughs> amen. I mean, I am I the only one? Out, amen. Am I yeah. the only one who thinks that? Yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. You know, when I first got on Tinder, the, if I could just go back to the moment I said, oh, my God, this looks like a great way to meet friends. Like, if I, w <laughs> if I knew what I knew now, I'd be like, <laughs> delete, like, deleted see you later like no thanks no thanks no th no thanks no thanks <laughs> but yeah. yeah like no no like the okay i just can't even talk about it because it's frustrating <laughs> it's like if okay on tinder like i would go on it and be like oh okay like i'm just looking for like what are you looking for a relationship like you know like whatever and you guys um who know me uh you guys know the stories within those so uh keep that to yourself <laughs> but anyways oh we want to hear maybe one or two maybe not tonight not tonight new show but you know down the road but down the road they're worth it so anyways <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so like on on today like i'm like in a relationship or whatever okay then it build a rep as you guys will know in the social media term a hookup app mm -hmm. and at first my high school self would be like I'm sorry, um, what, what's a hookup? Right. Like, what's a hookup? Until I grew up, became a woman and hated it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, no, next. Thank, th no, thank you, next. <laughs> thank you, next. No, but I'd be on it. I'm like, okay, like, you can't even go on Tinder without having that one person say, sup, sup, how are you? Like, uh, not even how are you, actually, H are you? Not even the full sentence. Like, I'm over here, like, sup, sup. Okay, don't you want to get to know me a little bit? Like, blah, blah, blah. And, but I would be like coming up with something clever, you know? Oh, and your like, memes. Yeah, and my memes. I'd send you gifts and stuff <laughs> and be like, oh my God. You know, I've been frustrated for a long time and I found you. This must be fate. And then like a SpongeBob meme to add a, a little flavor to it, you know? No. Like, I, uh, no. It's just a waste of time, guys. I mean, uh, are any of you guys on Tinder yeah, if you want to come clean? So, so, so Make me feel uh, That's a good segue because <laughs> Lukey was kind enough um, to Which I knew. give away a free book uh, of the stuff I wish I knew earlier. And so we want you to get onto the comments and let us know what is something you wish you knew earlier and why. And we are going to review them. And the best answer that we feel is going to win a free book. And we will arrange to get it to you, and we're going to announce the winner on next week's show. Uh, it's definitely a great read. Um, again, it really um, is interpretive in terms of your perspectives, but there are I could go on about the stuff I wish I knew earlier. There's just not enough time in the show tonight. Um, <laughs> having said that, though, right? So what are some of the comments? Oh, here we go. Okay, so moving on, moving on. Uh, Frank Natazzi, you guys look incredible. Hi, Beautiful Frank. Hair. How are you? Hi, Frank. How are you? Thank you for taking care of our roots. <laughs> Specifically mine, because I'm getting old. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, oh, Brandon, this was a good one. Uh, changed people change people. You know what? I love that. Ch you know what? Yes. Um, changed people change people. That is really, really profound. I absolutely agree with 100%. that and you know what and you know what 100%. that actually speaks to expectations right and um going back to some of the stuff that we've been talking about one of the things i found uh as uh re-emerging as um a single woman uh in the last number of years in the age of uh social media and and dating apps i think that 
way back when, when we were forced to leave our house to go meet people, you actually had a conversation. Um, you actually oh, yeah. already knew kind of at the, at the first meeting, like w- w- what was happening and where it's going to go. You know, it was a little bit different time. But nowadays, there are so many options and there are so many, um, there's so many people going through so many things that um, you can't really keep up with what's going on. And so you might have a certain expectation of what you want and they don't even know what they want or maybe they want it, but they can't deal or accept it or be strong enough to give you that relationship. And so what ends up happening is, is that there is an, a misalignment yeah. of communication. Yeah. Communication is key. Communication really is key, right? Key. And um, being transparent and being open. And I think that, and again, I'm no expert, but there uh, is a disconnect between uh, what the one person wants and what the other person is saying and vice versa. And it can become very convoluted. So to your point, we have a choice about how we want to manage our time and who we want to spend our time with and whether we want to be swiping on Tinder or we want to be, you know, on the couch on Valentine's Day with Netflix oh. and Cheetos or however else you want to enjoy it. And but a the six point pack, is, you know, you just straight whatever on. Whatever works for watch you. Watch the game. Whatever works for you. <laughs> but the point is we have a choice. And you know what? When I first reemerged, um, I put this pressure on myself. Like I had this pressure on myself and I was like, what? Why am I putting such pressure on myself? This is ridiculous, right? But I felt like I was compensating for something that I didn't have and I was looking for it in places that maybe I had no business yeah. looking for, you oh, know, relatable. And, but I got to tell you something. I got to tell you something as much as there's crazy stories and I'm sure we'll explore a few in again, future episodes. Um, I have had the honor <laughs> of meeting some amazing people over the course of, of, yeah. of that, uh, who have actually educated yeah. me and allowed me to understand how, how things are and how people think. And you know what? It's allowed me to be even more empathetic and be more compassionate yeah. to what people's struggles are because people resonate with people that they trust and that they want to talk to. So I, I wanted to mention that. So it, it, I guess what I'm saying is sometimes, even though things aren't going the way you want, maybe, yeah. maybe there's a silver lining, maybe good things come out of it. What do you guys think? <laughs> what are the comments? So continuing on to the comment trail. Um, okay. Oh, what a sweet voice. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm just joking. I have, so, I have a singer. sore throat, guys. She's like, I'm singer. dying. <laughs> we, we, we're going to do some sing- singing <clears throat> segments on the show for sure. Oh, and to add on to uh, people who you come across that, like, raise your spirits, it's like, you raise me up so I can, what is it? Oh, stand on the mountain. <laughs> okay, guys, isn't she a great? I, th- I say we do a karaoke. We're going to do a karaoke. Oh, I got to write this down. Oh, my God. Version. Write that down, woman. If you guys want to do a karaoke version, <laughs> not of me. Although I will do a Backstreet Boys song, maybe. Tell me why. That's the one song. <laughs> no, I literally, know. tell me why. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. Now, okay, now I've lost my confidence. No, I haven't. Okay, keep going. Um, okay. Jimmy, don't take the blue pill, the Matrix. <laughs> right? <laughs> what if we want the blue pill? Yeah, well, well, like, I don't know. choose wisely. <laughs> <laughs> Living dangerously, guys. Um, okay. Oh, Susan, hurt people hurt people. Yes. So oh, true. Oh, tell me about it. You know oh. what? That's very, very true. If I can just. Do you want to. I have something to say about that, but please. Well, I mean, I was. I don't know if your kids are going through, whoever has kids. Or if you yourself, or if you know somebody who's going through it, um, but being somebody who was bullied in high school and elementary school, um, and oh, and you know, I, I stood up for myself. I had my friends backing me up. I, you know, my family, especially Mama Bear, don't get her angry. Don't, don't get me. Guys, just I'm really <laughs> nice and sweet and very nurturing. <laughs> But don't piss me shout out to all the moms when it comes to my kids <laughs> it's like shout out to all the moms don't <laughs> bug them don't get on their nerves and, and you okay? know what i'm interested i apologize but there is absolutely zero tolerance for bullies yeah exactly of any kind um i do empathize i do i i'm wise enough to know that there is a root cause yeah, for exactly. people that are bullies was, you yeah. know i i know that but when you're a, a parent of a, of, a, um, of a young child in elementary or high school, and th- you know you just you, it enrages you. And and you know what? Not even well, 
not not even, but there are also bullies in the workplace. There oh, are yeah. bullies in social situations. Oh, and you know yes. what? Um, uh, uh, we want to get to the root, and there's always a reason. And I, I believe that showing care and empathy is the way to go. But when it comes down to bullies like you experience, yeah, like there's, um, they're obviously hurting somewhere yeah, deep down we, to do that, right? Unless our kids, if we, our kids don't tell us. Uh, and unless we don't have a sixth sense about it. Yeah. So, you know, kids, talk to your parents and, and explain what's going on. Nobody's alone in this. Um, we're all in it together. Yeah. We're all in this together. Okay. Mm-mm-mm-mm. All right. We absolutely have to do a karaoke version. <laughs> okay. I'm Just serious. Joking. For an entire hour, you singing. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> okay. What hem, else? Hem, hem, hem. Um, stay true to yourself. Yes, Alessia. My goddaughter. Yes, Alessia. Yes, Alessia. Um, oh, okay, another one, Jimmy, <laughs> fan, man, oh, we're gonna make a t-shirt, it's gonna be like, number oh. one fan, and you're gonna wear it, I'm just joking, I like what he says there, what's more important, communication or expectations, oh, I have an answer for that, yeah, go for it, um, communication, because I stopped expecting things a long time ago, yeah, you know what, like, though, <laughs> communication, because communication. communication, you can also like, bring out the expectation, and hopefully exactly. that conversation can happen, right, um, guess who's just joined? Oh, guys, um, let's put some love in the comments for Felicia Scalise, Yay! my loving and dearing sister who decided to join in on the fun. Yes, Felicia. <laughs> oh, my God. And you are doing cameo appearances, whether you like it or not. And when we do way back playbacks of 90s movies and all, she's on. My she's life gonna, on a mower. Yeah, she's going to be doing that for sure. She's a 90s baby. Um, she says she Cheetos, does. Blackheart. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my God. Oh, he, there's so much. Okay. Um, Hi, John. I see John. Hi, John Rivero. How are you? Hi, John. Hello. <laughs> Nicole, Welcome. I love it. Oh, Nicole. Girl, sing super bass. Oh, yes, no. You have to. I don't even. There's a lot of inappropriate words, oh. and I don't even. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay. Super bass is like this thing that we got going, and it just puts everyone in a good mood yes okay you'll have to bleep half of it but this one beep and a bit beep and a bit beep and a bit beep yeah no it's not gonna we'll do more though. until we'll next more. week stay tuned for your super bass performance i promise I, I i live to my promises okay i got you guys sorry i have to interrupt john says zero tolerance for bullying oh yes. yeah yes oh absolutely. yeah if you know somebody getting bullied call me okay like call me 1-800 julia 1-800 uh julia uh don't mess with me don't mess with me girl no Absolutely. thanks uh i will honestly just like fight for your kids <laughs> and your family and your i don't know your wife your husband it doesn't matter i will be there <laughs> i got you guys and you know what and you know what i'll tell you something Put my um, sleeves up. as a parent <laughs> it's really difficult to have an adult conversation with the parents of the bully oh when the parents of the bully are in denial when they believe that there is absolutely no problem. But you know what? As parents with our children, we have a responsibility and everyone should be able to go to school feeling safe. Everyone should be able to go to work feeling safe. And um, again, you know, yeah. help us all work together to break down the barriers because um, people are hurting. We understand that. But you know what? Love over hate every single time. Repeat after me. Love over hate. Love over hate. Love oh, over hate. hate. <laughs> okay, I thought you were gonna sing it. Okay. Oh, uh, right, I can't. Uh, it's, it, the moment's passed. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> um, X Factor, Julia for sure. Yes. yes. I don't know where I was going with that. No. I had like a break. <laughs> I have to. I, I have my application have open. John, I keep Send. telling her she has to go on Send. American Idol at least. <laughs> oh my God! Hi, ladies. Hi, John. Oh, other John. Oh, we have two Johns. Yeah, we have two Johns. Yeah. Guys, who's the best John? Hashtag best John, number one or two. I'm just <laughs> All joking. of them. John from Vaughn. Everyone John from, from John. UK. Everyone from John. Jimmy, Jimmy has a talk. good comment there. Jimmy. Okay. Would you choose love over career or hope the career will give career will give you a better love? Okay. Hands down, I choose love over a career. Yes. And I am inspired by one person in particular who did that, my own mother um who aspired who aspired to you know travel the world and be a journalist and everything and just live her best life and then 
my dad came in the picture and stopped her from going. <laughs> and then they made two beautiful kids. Yes. Who am I talking about? Well, obviously, my sister, duh, and me, duh. Yes. Okay? Sit so that's... Those. Oh. <laughs> or what you... Put your hand here. This is what you usually... Especially when we're in the movie theater. It's not even a sad moment. Holding the hand. I do that because I believe that it's a moment that she can relate to. I can't. I, they're talking about, like, some, like, old experience from, like, years ago. She's matter. like, yeah, I know it you went through matter. it. There's never Anyways, enough time to topic. hold your daughter's off hand topic. in the movie theater. <laughs> but you know what? Thank but you. But yes, Thank this you. is my inspiration. Love over career for sure. And I, if I can add to that, sweetie, thank you. That's really nice. Um, Jimmy uh, and and, and um, our viewers, um, as some and many of you know, um, I lost <laughs> my husband uh, almost 10 years ago. And I have only just recently, over the last two or three years, been able to really talk about it and uh, be open about it. And he was my high school sweetheart. And we met and uh, we, we, we fell in love and we got married. And I had, um, you know, dreams. I had dreams to become a journalist and to pursue um, a career. But then in the end, you know what? I still had a great career. Um, my career, I feel, is um, I'm very proud of it. But I'm mostly proud about getting married and having uh, my two beautiful daughters. So I would say love over career. Interestingly enough, though, a lot of people are struggling to find love and they really hang on to their career as a compensation um, for the fact that they don't have love in their life. And the only thing I want to say about that is um, it's great to prosper and, and focus on your career, but take time for yourself, love yourself, be happy, do all the things you want to do, even if you don't have a significant other. <laughs> the work's always going to be there the next day. At one point, after I lost my husband, I put all of my focus on work because I didn't want to deal and you know what I never left the office but you know um, that wasn't healthy either so um, we're definitely and I'm definitely in a better place uh, these days yeah okay let's see what Dev said okay oh John from Vaughn priceless <laughs> thanks John <laughs> John from can't wait to see you guys Monday <laughs> night John and his uh, and his uh, friend Sandra do fearless voices and if you guys have never heard of it check it out it's always a fantastic time Jimmy, the person who asked the question, wonderful. Great answer. Thank you. Thank you. We're holding your hand as we speak <laughs> via, via conversation. We love it. Tyrion, thank you so much for joining. I know I said that earlier, but thank you so much. And thank you for everyone who's joined. Even if we don't have uh, you uh, on comments, we know you're watching, and we hope that we're reaching you. And one thing I did want to say is we will be talking about all kinds of things. We'll be doing all kinds of crazy things. That's why the show is called Anything Goes. But if there's anything specifically that you guys want to ask, any burning questions, any burning topics that you want us to cover, we're very future. transparent. <laughs> future show. We have no problem being, being honest. And we'd love to, uh, you know, we love to, because that's what it's all about. Remember, bringing community and voices together. Susan Day says, Hi, Susan Day. Mine after over 30 years and bipolar abandoned me homeless. Oh. Susan. I'm sending you a bear hug. Yes. And, oh my gosh. I, I'm speechless. I know. I know. Susan, sending you love, and um, hopefully we can um, we can connect some more, um, whether it be, you know, on the show or even, um, you know, through through direct message. And, uh, want, you know, we're here, and you have a lot of support with a lot of people. Um, I feel that um, when people can talk about things and they don't feel afraid of being judged, um, there's no shame in sharing stories. Like, I've just admitted, and even when I was on Karen's show a few weeks ago, I'm on Tinder, not, not necessarily lately, actively, but I'm on Tinder. Um, I've been vulnerable. Um, I suffered a breakdown a number of years ago. I, I wasn't dealing with my husband's death. I was dealing, you know, there have been so much that I feel that I haven't dealt with, but in the end, um, I got through it with the love of, of, of a lot of people and reach out and talk to people. So Susan, sorry about that. Um, I, I don't know you uh, very well, but like Julia said, uh, if you were here, we'd give you a very, very big hug. 
is it, it you know like how everyone says guys let's show some love in the comments for susan yes, day yeah <laughs> i've always love wanted to say day. that love for everybody yeah you are stronger and better and better terry ann said uh to you susan than him yes terry ann thank you so much yes and terry ann and i are also linkedin friends and terry ann um is a wonderful human being and terry ann has gone through uh, a lot of struggles herself and she's been very open and very transparent and she's just a wonderful person so Ter terry ann thank you so much sending you hugs oh well. and she's now an author of a book Hello! Hey, Thank you for sharing the, that yeah, for what's uh, the with name us. Of your book, Susan. What's the name of your book? Tell us. Oh, John says chocolate or vanilla. Okay, can I just say something? What context are we talking about? Chocolate because that or is <laughs> Cho chocolate or vanilla. Uh, did you mention ice cream on Valentine's Day? Yeah, I did. No, did I? I don't know. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. No, chocolate or vanilla, chocolate ice cream all the way. I OD on that. <laughs> like that's my. <laughs> Hello. I have to say vanilla with uh, some caramel. Just, you know. Like, oh, <laughs> of course. Why? <laughs> That's assuming. I, I We're actually having a debate about ice cream. No, I know. Guys. Okay, cookie, go, <laughs> cookie dough ice cream if I have to really choose. Oh, my God. I think Susan mentioned the book. Oh, Vicky has joined as well. Hi, Hi Vicky. Vicky. How are you? We've missed you guys. How you doing? Um, okay, I'm a speaker working on my way to the stage. Have three shows at the oh, moment. Oh, awesome, Susan Day. Awesome. You know what? Paint has no amazing. boundaries. And that's what we're talking about, right? Uh, not being afraid to share our voice. And um, you go, girl. You go. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. All so right, many these fantastic comments. comments. Thank you so much. Um, so I, you know, we're going to be wrapping up in a little bit. I don't want to. I, I know Julia doesn't want to. Um, we're going to be wrapping up in a little bit. But um, I think one of the things that I want to talk about, uh, just really briefly, if I if I may, is I'm the fact scared. that <laughs> this is unscripted, by the way. Yeah, so I don't know what's happening. Anything goes. Yeah, it is. You know Anything what? Goes. It is. And we were. Well, I don't want to speak for you, but we were a little apprehensive about a completely like unscripted show. And I wrote a couple of notes down only because I wanted to do, you know, uh, right by John and Lukey. Uh, but everything else, you know, we're really talking about what we're feeling and what we're going through. And as you guys get to know us, you're going to, like I said earlier, we are welcoming you welcoming you into our lives, into our homes, and into our Thursday evening space. And there's a lot that we collectively have been through and individually have been through. And we've had trials and we've had triumphs. And um, sometimes we have a step forward and then we have three steps back. And life sucks sometimes. And I really want to talk about how um, sometimes and Julia said this earlier, with social media, sometimes you don't know if people are struggling. You don't know what they're going through because everybody's happy. Um, everyone's on vacation. Everyone's going through like great, 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 you know, fun, right? But then you find out that maybe somebody is dealing with, um, you know, the death of a loved one or someone is going through, you know, depression yeah. or yeah. someone is going through. So all I wanted to say is, is that I hope we're doing our part here to, um, inspire to share our stories so that you guys can share your stories and reach out to others but please if you don't know if someone is struggling or if you think they're happy and everything's great yeah, don't think. assume um just reach out send a text uh, make an old-fashioned phone call yeah and, uh, and for the millennials out there and maybe adults who are wanting to get involved um the double chin snapchat always works <laughs> So just like a nice what like double chin you know view <laughs> and you're made someone it's made someone bleh, made someone's day I can't speak. <laughs> oh okay. My God. Okay, I have a question for the for the men but also women, okay? What do you guys think about like I know that we're in a world of of <laughs> digital and photography and pictures. You can't go on even on an online dating app without pictures, 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 pictures. What do you guys think about <laughs> filters, the, the, the use of them. filters, <laughs> the need for filters? I don't use any filters. I don't even think I know where to find filters. So what do you guys think? Do you guys, do you guys need them? Do you guys, I, I feel like 
I want to be me. But this is me. I'm sorry. If I want to have a filth, if I want to be a dog in my picture yeah. and have the ears with and the, the nose out, with yeah. the tongue sticking, yeah. I can very well be a dog. Okay. Right. right. I don't care. Okay. I, I get <laughs> that because you have a passion for dogs. You love dogs. Shout out to all the huskies. Uh, Mama loves you. And um, for the, all the dog owners, when are you busy so I can babysit them? Thank you. Cool. Oh. <laughs> don't be too busy too often she's always wanted a husky by the way so yeah i just want to know what you guys think about filters on on pictures i just i, I like being natural what do you guys think it depends on the lighting it's one <laughs> it depends on the lighting or, and, and, the, and the you know <laughs> alessia depends <laughs> on Dep what? the dog one is blessed see thank you Oh, see, Ramsey, filters are dope. Jesus, they're just, you know, filters are dope. They're really cool. Yeah, Who you says know it. Ramsey? Yes, Ram. All right, okay. <laughs> Nicole, filters are fun. See, like, Nicole, yes, I just want to say Nicole is an advocate for all the self, all the, <laughs> all the filters out there. Like, your so camera roll is fil filled. <laughs> I saw this, I saw this uh, guy's bio on, on Tinder a while back. And it read, ladies, please, enough with the filters. Like, I, I was just, so I'm curious to know how many people use filters. Like, I'm just, I don't know. Just curious. I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Filters are fun. Okay, John, I like filters. I look awesome. You know what? <laughs> self-love. Yes. Yes, John. Hashtag self-love. Because you know what? If, I f if I'm feeling good, if I'm feeling, like, funky fresh with, like, horns one day, or, like, <laughs> cat ears. Or something. I, lo I look awesome. So you know what? You do. You do. Thank you, I next. No thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm with John Ribeiro. Drop the filters, he says. Oh, Those yeah. Here. Filters will look wonderful. Renato. Here we go. Filter is a fake butt technology on this, uh, uh, oh, in these days, on this days. That's what it says. Make everything look perfect and beautiful and technology hikes the truth. Yes. It's, uh, okay, yeah, it is, that is true. Um, it's it's always good to show your natural self. Yeah. And like filters are there for like you know the fun of it, just to be like, oh my god, like, hi, I'm having a great time on Saturday night with my That's dog true. ears. That's true. But at the same time, it's like you want to see someone for you know. I want to see your pores, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see that pimple you're trying to hide <laughs> well, with the peace sign in I the corner. I just mentioned that because I think that <laughs> when, when somebody goes on a date, they want to know that the person they're meeting is the person that they've seen in the pictures online i think I the term that. we're lurk, lurk, uh, lurking, lurking 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 for okay lurking. looking for um is catfish oh okay well is it a complete catfish if it's just filters but i don't know my my opinion on that term is just like it's like don't i mean like sometimes p pictures don't do people justice like That's it's true. you know and then you're That's like ah, you don't look like that that don't match like i That's don't care true. yeah yeah <laughs> like whatever uh, i don't even know okay i just wanted to put that out there so, okay, um, before we wrap up, uh, any uh, final, not final, because yeah. you guys can keep commenting. Lots of play with the filter. So fun, still can be real as well. Yes, Susan? <laughs> I love Jimmy's. I can, so, I, I it's about glasses, the angles. I can still see it. I only <laughs> put is. filters on my coffee. <laughs> so true, Jimmy. So true. You're absolutely right. You can only filter so much. It's you can. fun. No, yeah. You can, absolutely. So, guys, listen, we have um, come to that. Like, I'm absolutely having fun. Are you having fun? Yes. Are, are you guys having fun? <laughs> um, we have come to the uh, to the close to the end of our, our show. I, I really just wanted to say, first of all, thank you to every single person who um, is watching tonight, whether you have um, gotten into the comments or not, and just watching. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart because this really was a big deal uh, for us. And uh, bringing Julia on board to do this with me absolutely and so we as a community of people supporting one another we are better together 100 percent. so thank you so much for that um do you have any final thoughts again when are you busy dog owners so i can uh, babysit <laughs> your dog that's my final thought but thank you everybody for being here and uh just to, like what touch on my final thoughts to touch up on what you said earlier if you guys know somebody um who is going through something and is going is just you know alone and just down or just whatever it is don't be afraid to reach out send the double chin you know the double chin selfie oh yeah okay yeah. you always need a good double chin in your life Absolutely. um just don't be afraid to just say how are you doing 
how are you you haven't seen that person in like a couple of months say how are you doing mm-hmm. it's just as simple as that it's it means a lot to somebody so uh special thanks to my mom as well um Can I do it now <laughs> no um and wait stop touching me thank you <laughs> No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> no th- that doesn't apply to me. Sometimes. No, okay. Guys, like, hello. Um, oh, and lots of love in the comments, guys. Thank you very much, Felicia. Yas, queen. Love you. Oh, my God. Great show made me laugh. La- Girl, we are here to make you laugh, okay? This is what we do. <laughs> you should see us on the... Uh, oh, God. In you the car when we're randomly snapped. Oh, oh my, my God. Yeah, the Snapchat car. Yes. Anyways, guys. So... Th- I wanted. Oh, sorry. Go. No, no, no. Go. No, I, I just about wanted to, hold to say, cough. Um, <laughs> you know, just to further to what Julia said, my final thoughts for tonight in this episode, and we will be talking a lot more about it. Is if you are ever afraid to um, open up and to share your voice, or to uh, if you're afraid to open up about what what you're going through, Lights. don't be don't be afraid. Share, uh, share your voice loud and proud uh, people are waiting to hear we are waiting to hear you guys are all very special you guys have a lot of value you guys have a lot of worth don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise uh, stay true to yourself thank you so much we will be back here next Thursday night next Thursday night Eastern Standard <laughs> 8, 8 ish 8 p.m. 8 ish uh, Eastern Standard Time on Frequency 5 FM. Again, thank you guys so very much, and we will talk to you soon. What do you, what do you, final thoughts, yeah. ladies and gentlemen? I need to get up okay. for a minute. What, what are we doing? I need you to get up for two seconds. Uh, okay, why? We have to adjust something. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Mom, get up. Seriously? We, we need to. Oh my god. Okay, okay. all right. What are I we doing? just want to say from the bottom of my heart. Yes. First of all, Move the chair back uh, okay. because you're, oh I don't want you tripping. All we right. don't, guys. If you want to see her trip, comment down below. <laughs> no, I'm just no joking. tripping. Uh, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart. Cue the music oh my right God. now. Yes, this is what we're doing, guys.